What are you doing? Greyhounds do this thing called chattering. So they'll like chatter their teeth. People freak out about it as well. They're like, oh, your dog's cold. And I'm like, no, it's just what they do to expand energy. And it'll often be in the afternoon. And I'll just run up and down the yard. I think that's when I started realizing these dogs are really quite unique. We were at the hardware store one day and I met this elderly couple and they had two greyhounds and I just fell in love with them. Immediately I called charities and I inquired about one and then two weeks later we got Jordan. Oh really? Jordan. 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 Going from being in the racing industry and with that to pet life, it was a huge learning curve. So they tried to breed her and she lost her puppy. So it was definitely a few hard months. But as soon as we stopped walking her, her anxiety really started to settle down. And then about a year later, we got Sharky. Sharky had been in foster for maybe like a year and a half. He wasn't really appealing, I guess, to people. He's got a really long face and he's very tall, but I think he's just so cute. Come here. Sharky, why? Sharky, why? Sharky, why? Sharky, why? At first, they were very distant with each other. We really didn't think it was going to work out. And then, then after three months, they start bringing out their personality. Sharky! Now they love each other and Sharky couldn't live without Jordan. You can really see their true colours. Jordan! What are you doing? Honestly, they spend most of their day asleep. If you leave your bedroom door open, and they'll go and sneak off and steal our bed together. They're so cute and cheeky. <laughs> Did you see yourself? Really <laughs> good. Some people have this mentality that they're aggressive. But they're amazing. I wouldn't change anything. I could not imagine my life without them.